Matthew chapter 7 verse 15, Beware of false prophets, which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. False prophets have been around since the very beginning. You could say that the first false prophet appeared in the Garden of Eden with the serpent's lie to Adam and Eve. The truth of the matter is, they were there at the beginning and they will be around until the end. Because of this, it makes sense to know what a false prophet is. These people could be invading your churches and pulpits, so it is imperative to know who they are. Their damage goes beyond just their prophecies and teachings. Their influence can be damaging to the body of Christ. This is about arming yourself because what has happened in the past is happening now and you must be prepared so you don't fall victim. A prophet in the Bible was one who would proclaim the word of the Lord. They would speak on the Lord's behalf into a situation. Sometimes they would speak about a future event and other times they would speak about a current matter. By definition then, a false prophet is one who presents themselves as speaking on behalf of the Lord. However, instead of speaking truth, they speak lies. Yes, this is what the Lord Almighty, the God of Israel, says, in Jeremiah chapter 29 verses 8 to 9, Do not let the prophets and diviners among you deceive you. Do not listen to the dreams you encourage them to have. They are prophesying lies to you in my name. I have not sent them declares the Lord. Watch out for false prophets. They come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ferocious wolves. Matthew chapter 7 verse 15. The first thing to notice about a false prophet is that they may look like you. They may sound legitimate and they may even use all the right lingo. In other words, they know how to look the part. Many times, this is why they are so deceptive because they make themselves appear to look like other sheep. They may look harmless, but they are extremely dangerous. In this same verse in Matthew, Jesus uses the analogy of a wolf and a sheep. He calls the false prophet a ferocious wolf. Wolves are predators and in order to survive they must continually find new prey. When they attack, they are vicious. The false prophet may look like a sheep but they attack like the wolf. They seek to devour by causing people to either believe a lie or to put their trust in some other place than truly following Jesus or his word. This is what makes them dangerous. Three warning signs of false prophets. Number one, they prophesy from their own delusions. Jeremiah chapter 14 verse 14 says, Then the Lord said to me, The prophets are prophesying lies in my name. I have not sent them, or appointed them, or spoken to them. They are prophesying to you false visions, divinations, idolatries, and the delusions of their own minds. The false prophet will often prophesy from their own imagination. However, because they know how to do it so well, if you are not careful you can fall victim to them. Without discernment, many times you can't tell the difference. Another thing to be careful of is the false prophet who prophesies only what you want to hear. They may even prophesy things that the people will agree with. This happened in Israel and this happens today. Number 2. What they say does not come true. You may say to yourselves, how can we know when a message has not been spoken by the Lord? If what a prophet proclaims in the name of the Lord does not take place or come true, that is a message the Lord has not spoken. That prophet has spoken presumptuously, so do not be alarmed. Deuteronomy chapter 18 verses 21 to 22. The great litmus test for anyone who claims to be a prophet of God is a simple one. Did what they say come true? This was true in biblical times and it is true today. By the way, the punishment in the Old Testament for being a false prophet was death. But a prophet who presumes to speak in my name anything I have not commanded, or a prophet who speaks in the name of other gods, is to be put to death, Deuteronomy chapter 18 verse 20. Clearly this is not something God takes lightly, especially because of the influence these people usually can have. 
This is why time and patience are wonderful gifts when you are dealing with anyone who declares themselves a prophet. Time is necessary because it will eventually reveal the motives of the heart. Patience is required to see if what they say comes true. So, take heed that man deceived you brothers and sisters. Please subscribe, like this video, and drop your comments.